All right, so let me bring you up to speed on what I've been doing on my intake plenum. Um, that's kind of where we're at. So you'll notice over here, I cut this one instead of waiting for it to make the complete turn, I cut it back a little bit. I did that to give me some extra height here so that I could cover the entire intake port. So I got that one all done and tacked on. Then I went and the next one I did was this other outside one over here. And you'll notice on this one I have a problem. I have this bolt in the way. So I actually cut one just like the other side back into here. But when I put it in, there's no way I could get that bolt in. The flange actually covered the bolt. So I had to make another one and have it a little bit, have this come a little bit more straight so I can leave room for the bolt. The disadvantage, two disadvantages, one is now I don't have enough to cover the top part of the port. So my welder is going to have to do a heavy fillet weld there for me and then I can port it on the inside to get a nice transition there. The other problem is, is I had a dream of having these be lined up. And now they're, this one droops in and this one sticks out. So anyway, that didn't work quite like I had planned. I will tell you that these middle ones here, they worked great. I got those fit in. They uh, fit in on the oval shaped port perfectly and smashed in the middle. So those worked great. Now I'm working on the plenum box. So the plenum box is a little bit difficult because I have my oil fill and also you'll notice down here my dipstick. I've ordered an extended dipstick that will be up higher so I won't have to reach down in the hole to check the oil and this is plenty high at this point but it's forcing me to have a split plenum box which um, is a little bit more of a pain plus if I got to make sure now my throttle body here is perfectly centered on this V so that when it hits, it gets equal flow both directions. The other complication I have is uh, on the bottom here, I'm gonna have to bring the bottom of the plenum box out to this corner that's right here. And I actually have to fade it down because I need four inches here. And I only have three inches here. Uh, and I don't have any more room to make it fatter here because it's right next to the motor but I can bring it down out here and not be in the way of anything. I'm having to do that because my throttle body that I got is a 70 millimeter. I actually would have preferred a 65, uh, would have been quarter inch smaller, not a huge difference. But the height of this is just over four inches. So I've got to make sure that I have that on this back plate as the throttle body will be bolting right here on the end. I'm actually going to put probably put a 90 directly off of here like this and then set the throttle body back here. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do that or bolt the throttle body directly on and then make the turn but I'll work that out once I kind of get this plenum box in place. Anyway that's my progress at this point in time so I'm going to get back at it. I bent this one piece here I'll show you so it's going to fit in right under there like that for that side turned out pretty good like I said I'm a cabinet maker not a metal metal or fabricator guy so I'll show you how I did it so I clamped it down with the one leg right here on the edge of the bench, like that. And I put the clamp right out near the edge with a board on it so it holds this down tight to the bench. Then I've cut the angle that I want on this board right here. Put it underneath, put this board on top, give me a little bit of a leverage, and then I've clamped them together. Now I can just push down on this end, like this, have to hold this end down, sorry. So there it is in its full bent form. So we'll go ahead and 
release it and then go see how it fits for the one on the other side. So here we are back at the motor. This is the other side, the one we just bent. Perfect. Now I just need to make a bottom, looks just like the top, and then I'll need to make an end. So I have decided that I'm actually on the end of here, I'm going to weld on a 90 and then weld a plate on the end of the 90 for the throttle body. So I've got it all mocked up now and just lightly tacked, no making fun of my welds. Now you know why I'm sending it off to be professionally welded. But anyway, there is the intake manifold sitting on the engine. Pretty close fit right here. I actually think I'm going to weld a tab on so I can bolt this to here to help support it. Wish there was one in the back, but there is not. I might find another place to support it. I noticed there's another stud right here that maybe I could use. Um, I haven't, this is the plate where the throttle body will come out. I've determined that I need to come out with a 90 immediately and then weld a plate on it and bolt the throttle body to it so it sits over here. Rather than out here, it's just getting too wide uh, you know, if the motor is going to fit kind of centered, by the, even by the time I add an elbow, you know, we're out here quite a ways. And on this side, the turbo is going to sit right in here. I want those to be fairly even, so when I put the motor in the center, we're pretty much the same on each side. But anyway, once I get it all welded up, I will actually cut this out here. And separate that so this plate isn't here there's no reason for it just made it easier to mock up but I think it worked out pretty good I'll give you a shot up under here because I haven't put the the top on yet the bottom on excuse me because I'm sure he'll need to get in there and do some welding but I have it all fit and ready to go it's right there so I'll just let him weld that on after he gets everything else welded inside and out wherever he feels is necessary. And then the only other thing I have to figure out, I don't know if you can see it, but right down in here is an oil breather tube coming out of the dipstick tube. And it runs right into the side of my uh, intake plenum. So I think what I'm going to do is actually cut that off and weld on a 90 that aims down and that way I can hook the vent tube on there. But other than that I think that it's worked worked up pretty good. I'm happy with everything on it except for my crummy welding and that will be repaired by somebody a lot better than me and so now I can move on to the turbo and the exhaust manifold and hopefully my welding on the stainless tacking is a little bit better than on the aluminum. I've been really struggling, although I welded a lot of aluminum stuff and never seem to have battled it like this. I haven't been able to figure out what the problem is, but anyway, it's going off to the professional welder. We'll let him fix it up and then we'll go from there. So this is something else that I got and what this is, is this is a plate that actually bolts on the bottom of the motor between the block and the oil pan and then it has um, these rubber bolts here go through here, sandwich into there and bolt onto this ring right here and that is my motor mount ring. So my motor mount braces will come from, from these tubes up to the firewall on all four corners. 
So I want to get this on the air on the engine before I start working on the turbo because it has some extra holes on here on both sides that I'm hoping maybe I can use to um, physically anchor the turbo to the side of the motor. The people who made this plate for me, they actually hang their turbo under the motor. They're putting it in a, a cozy uh, style aircraft and it all kind of tapers back in the back and so they don't have width there. So they've rotated the turbo down and hung it underneath the motor. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hang mine on the side, but I'm hoping to use those hole, those same holes that they use to hang it to suspend it on the side. So I'll also get working on that as soon as I get this uh, intake manifold over to the welder. And also he had to weld a, a hole in my oil pan. It, uh, there's a motor mount that goes on these two holes. And mine also has a bolt out here for the oil for the uh, motor mount that used to be here that we're not using. The problem is when it sits on top of here, it, this is actually the oil pan side. So it just leaves a hole with the oil to go out. So my welder is actually welding that hole in for me. And then I can go ahead and get this um, oil pan plate and the oil pan on the bottom and start working on mounting the turbo. Well, that's it for this project. The intake manifold is ready to go. Um, next up, uh, next project will be getting the, the uh, exhaust manifold built and the, uh, the turbo hung right here. Um, hope you guys like this video and appreciate the fact that I'm trying to share my project. I do like and appreciate comments, so feel free to leave comments. Uh, also remember to subscribe to my channel and like the video.